Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to shorten links for free. It's all through a website called Bitly, and I'll be taking you guys through their website to show you how it's done step by step. These links also last forever, so yeah, it's really cool, and it's exactly what I use to shorten my links on my websites. So first, let's talk about what Bitly is, why you would need it, and what it makes sense for you to actually use it. So Bitly is a website where you can shorten your URL links and give them unique URLs, right? So there's tons of benefits, and one of them is that you can actually increase marketing marketing power and brand recognition if you are a content creator or you have a business that's online. This is something that can help you guys boost your engagement and click-through rates on any affiliate links, personal links, sales links, and yeah, pretty much any link that you have. If you guys find yourself doing affiliate marketing, you'll notice that a lot of the links you get uh, from these brands are super long or they look super complex and you don't really know where it's taking you. Personally, when I click on a link, I like to know where it's gonna be going. And the fact that a lot of these affiliate marketing platforms use these really weird looking links that don't tell me much about where it's going makes me less likely to click on it. And that's why I use something like Bitly to shorten and customize all of my links. So if you guys wanna be more transparent with your audience, or you wanna just increase the overall conversion rates of your links, I think that shortening URLs can be very, very helpful. So now I'm gonna actually take you guys through Bitly's website and show you how you can get started making your own uh, shortened and custom links. All right, so I have Bitly pulled up. This is their home website. I'm gonna actually link this down below in the description. And if you come down here, you guys can see like sort of what link shorteners like Bitly do. So I encourage you guys to sort of read through this, get a feel for what they do. And they also have some frequently asked questions here. So you guys can look through these, but it's pretty helpful. For right now, I'm gonna take us to the pricing page and you guys can see that they actually have a free plan, which I use for a long time. Right now, my main account is gonna be the starter account. That's the one that I'm using. And I feel like it's enough for what I have to do. But if you want even more brand links or you know, like custom features, then they have the basic, premium, and also the enterprise plan. But for most of you guys, I think the free plan is gonna be completely fine to start out. You guys should be able to use this for a while before running out of you know links or whatever it is and then at some point you may want to switch over to one of their paid plans yes it does suck to spend money but it's well worth it in my opinion so i'm just gonna click get started on the free plan right now and i'm gonna create a new account after i've entered in my information i'm gonna click sign up with email now it's gonna ask you guys what you're gonna be using your links for i'm just gonna skip the step for now and it's going to take me to the dashboard the home page and this is where you're gonna be able to create your first link. So just to show you guys, I'm gonna click create new. I'm gonna click link right here. And you guys can see over here, it's gonna pull up this thing, right? So I can actually select which domain I want. And we're just gonna use bit.ly, bit.ly, because that's the one that's included in the free plan. And right here, it's gonna say enter long URL. So that is going to be your original link. So I have uh, my Robinhood affiliate link pulled up right here. You guys can see Robinhood c3me6x.net slash you know whatever this is right doesn't look that good it looks a little bit suspicious right like i don't know what the c3me6x.net thing is i see the robin hood part but still overall when i see a link like this i am less likely to click on it here you guys can actually set utm parameters and this can be actually really helpful it helps you track web traffic uh, in the analytic tools, so, right? So you can actually say what source it is from, the medium, as well as the campaign, right? So if I was using this link on, let's say, uh, Facebook, I could say Facebook, I could put the medium. So let's say it's gonna be in uh, like post, and then campaign, we can say like, this is the FB spring campaign. So I can enter all that information if I want, and it's going to actually allow me to track that later. A lot of the time I don't actually do this because um, I don't really need to track all these parameters myself. But if you guys are data nerds and you really want to track everything down to the T, then this can be very, very helpful. After that, I'm gonna click create and it's gonna show me the pre-generated link. So it's gonna be bit.ly slash 3WECHEQ. So from here, I can actually copy it. I can create the QR code if I want. All right, so this is gonna be the QR code. I can change any of this stuff if I want and I can download the PNG. But for now, I'm just gonna come back here and I can actually add a title so I can label this. Let's say we want it to be Robin Hood free stock link. Okay, so that's just gonna be the title on the back end, something that only I can see. And then we can actually customize the back half too. So let's say we want to name it Robin Hood Stock Promo, something like that. 
We can check to see if that's available. We can add some tags if we want. And then after that, I'm gonna click save. So it looks like it does work. It looks like Robinhood stock promo has not been taken. So now this is actually our link that redirects to that original link that I put before. So if I come here, you guys can see this is the link. I can click copy, I can tweet it, I can get the QR code. This is gonna show me the destination. So it's gonna be going to robinhood.c, whatever this is. And you guys saw I put the parameters, the UTM parameters. So you'll see Facebook, post, and then FB Spring campaign, right? From here on, I'm gonna just click copy the link. I'm gonna be putting it on the blog, on the YouTube channel, on wherever you share these links. And from there on, you can actually see the total clicks and track sort of how many clicks you get per day. Obviously, I just created this right now. I don't have any clicks, so it's gonna say zero total clicks. But if there was data here, I'd actually be able to see the click info as well as you know how many clicks I get per day. If you guys wanna do custom links on your own domain, so for example, let's say I was uh, using charliechang.co, right? I could actually do charliechang.co slash whatever I want, and I can actually use that instead of the bit.ly that is a default on this website. So campaigns is a bit more advanced, right? This actually allows you to compare performance across different channels. And for this, you're gonna need the premium plan. So I'm not gonna show you guys how to do this. This is just gonna be a more broad overview of how to actually just you know, simply create a free bit.ly shortened URL link. And yeah, you guys can see it's super easy. You guys can choose uh, a custom thing to put at the back. And this is what I've been doing a lot with my affiliate links. So yeah, that's basically how you create shortened URL links using bit.ly. This is the method that I've been using for the past few months. It's really great, very easy to use. And I do think that it's helped me a lot with my own affiliate marketing. The link to bit.ly is gonna be down below in the description. You guys can use that link. And yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys didn't, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe if you want to see more free guides and tutorials just like this. This whole channel is dedicated at giving you guys free resources to help build your business. Anyways, that's it for today and I'll see you in the next video.